Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today this will be the second part of a series that I'm doing on how to power your Delta Pro with an external type of battery bank, external battery bank. Let's put it that way. Let's get into it. So this video has taken me a lot longer to, to come out with than I thought it would, mostly because of good developments. I found uh, progressively better and better ways to power my Delta Pro using an external lithium battery. So I wanted to share that here on this video and that's what this is going to be about. So in the previous video I showed how you can charge your Delta Pro with an external battery bank directly connecting the battery to the Delta Pro and the Delta Pro will charge from that battery bank at approximately 420 watts. The reason it only draws 420 watts is a safety feature on the Delta Pro. It treats that source as if it was like a car battery or like a car charger um, so it only draws 8 amps instead of the full 15 to 16 that it can draw. And um, that's limiting. And again, it, it's a limitation of the Delta Pro. You would think that a 48 uh, volt battery system at 16 amps, you should be getting at least 720 to you know 800 watts. Well, the Delta Pro doesn't do that. It just, again, treats it like it's a, a, a car source. It limits it to 8 amps and your draw is 400 watts. So just directly connecting your battery to your Delta Pro is only going to give you about a 420 watt transfer rate. What can we do to increase that? Glad you asked. I have three different devices that will help you improve that charging rate between the external battery and the Delta Pro. I found them all on Amazon after a lot of searching and I'll share the links to each and talk about what each does. Okay, this is the first model that I found. This is a DC to DC com boost converter. It accepts up to 60 volts in. Uh, there is an input on right here. I don't know if this will show, but this is your input. You would connect your, your positive and negative here, and then your output over here, positive and negative over there. And then you have a control setting where you can set what uh, voltage you want as well as the amperage. This goes up to 15 amps. Um, it steps up 0 to 60 volts in and can produce up to 110 volts out. Now you are limited with that, uh, both the amps and the voltage, right? Um, so the most that you can output with this is 800 watts. And I did successfully test this and prove that I could get 800 watts um, by connecting my battery bank to this and then to the Delta Pro. I was able to get 800 watts into the Delta Pro. I was very pleased with this. I will admit I was quite dubious just because all the capacitors and the heat sink and the external fan. I didn't feel super comfortable with this, but it did work and it worked really well. I ran it for over a week. Um, the heat sink did get warm but not, um, not to the point where I thought there was a danger of a fire or anything. But it, it did leave me feeling like I wish something, uh, it was just a little better presentation, a little safer. But the buttons worked all great, the digital display worked great, and it, it charged fine. So that was a good one. The next one I got was is essentially the same thing. You've got, <laughs> you, you've got, your input here, your output here, and it's got a massive heat sink on it, comparatively huge, and you got this fan here. Um, basically, it's all the same thing, except there's no digital display, there's no buttons, there's just these little screws here, here, and here that you can adjust. This is your low voltage from your source, um, limiter so you can cut it off so like if the source dropped below 12 volts it will stop inputting into the thing this is your current so you can increase the current that flows and then this is your output voltage here you increase the voltage that you output this will charge it says 1500 watts and it will do it look at that uh, almost 1200 watts flowing in that is far better than anything I could get prior to hooking this up um, so that's pretty impressive. Um, super, I was even more uncomfortable with this one though than the previous one, simply because you're, you're flying blind. You have no idea 
what you've got your amp setting at, your voltage setting at, you just get a little screwdriver <laughs> and adjust this. And that's, it's just, it's janky and kind of not, just very uncomfortable. The other problem I had was I was using 10 gauge PV wire to this and this unit here actually became detached from the unit. So that was very alarming. <clears throat> But this will work. It will absolutely uh, work and it will put 1500 watts into your Delta Pro and that's pretty impressive. Lastly, I'm glad I found this uh, and I'm very glad I found this. This is essentially the same thing as this. In my opinion, there's a little window where you can see inside and from what I can observe, somebody just took one of these and put them in this nice metal casing, built these nice battery connectors, uh, put the fan on the side where you can have better control, and then you got a digital display here for the in and a digital display for the out. You still have to do all your adjustments using a screwdriver through these little windows here and, and over here, but it feels so much safer and I feel much more comfortable with this. All right, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you found it useful. It was kind of my journey of how I uh, was able to turn uh, my Delta Pro and an external battery bank into a viable everyday option, starting with first the 800 watt supply, then the 1500 exposed supply, and then the enclosed 1500 watt uh, DC, DC to DC converter. That made a big, big difference for me. And uh, if you're wanting to do the same thing, I think it'll, it'll help you. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll be going into more topics soon.